Hello everybody, this is Vidion Mode here. This is a beginner's guide, mostly for those who are new to survival MMOs or returning players from ARK. Uh, disclaimer first, this game is an early access game, so some of the features and mechanics are subject to change in the future. With that being said, let's get started. Number 1. Graphic Settings Although Atlas is a beautiful game, it can take a beefy rig to run it properly. So when you first load into the game, press the escape key, hit options, and adjust your settings. Here is the resolution scale, because this is the one mainly responsible for your frame rates. Look under the graphic quality tab, and it will give you an idea of what setting you can have it on. Since I use a GTX 970, most of my settings are about medium, if not high. I usually scale the ground clutter down since it takes quite a bit of processing power. The game is still being optimized by the devs, so it will take some time to get a more graphically stable version of the game. Number 2. Hydration One of the challenges in any survival game is staying hydrated. Unlike Ark, where the ocean was a source of drinkable water, Atlas has taken that away for obvious reasons. So to find water, you need to crawl around to find it. I have been able to find small patches of water where the sand meets the grass, but you're more likely going to need to look on the green grass for water. Press X to go prone. Look at the ground. Click the left mouse button. A mini game will happen where a slider will move across the bar. If you're successful, a small spot of water will appear that you can drink from. After you drink, you have to find a new area to get water from. Currently, you cannot use your water skin to collect the water, but the devs will implement that feature by patch V10. And when you start Atlas, you'll be in a port town where there's fresh water available nearby. So be sure to stock up before you head out. Number 3. Transferring Items this one will be more obvious to ARC players, but for the new players, in order to minimize the time that you spend in your inventory and managing and transferring items, remember to use the T and the O. T is for transfer, and O is for... out of my inventory? Using T will transfer items from one inventory to the other, as long as you have it highlighted with the mouse and press T. When you press O over an item, it will expel it out of your inventory or out of your smithy or any other item that you're looking at. Number 4. Start small. You don't need to start big on the first island you spawn on. Use F1 to plant a flag in a small, secluded area and start a small house to keep you safe. Be sure to make a bed so you can respawn in your house or on a raft, otherwise you will spawn all the way back at one of the ports. Focus on collecting resources to start your projects. Number 5. Right tool for the right job. Atlas utilizes three primary tools for gathering resources a hatchet, pickaxe, and a sickle. Using a hatchet on a tree will net you more wood and a little bit of thatch. Using it on a corpse will typically get you more hide and fur, and using it on a rock will give you more stone. A pickaxe used on a tree will provide you more thatch, using it on the corpse will give you a bit more meat, and using it on a rock will get you more flint and a bit more metal. The sickle is primarily used for collecting fiber in bulk. Number six, run from danger. While this tip may seem obvious, especially if you're new and have little means to defend yourself, if you're being chased by a creature that you're having trouble killing, your first instinct might be to run inside your thatch hut. This is a good way to not only get yourself killed, but to get your property destroyed and risk the chance of losing your bed to respawn. If you're being chased, run somewhere away from your base. Even if you die, you have a chance to go back and get your stuff. Number 7 have backups. You can never be too prepared in Atlas, so always make an extra set of tools, weapons, and armor once you become more established. Nothing is more draining than constantly running back to where you died just to be mauled or killed again and again. Take the extra resources you have, make some gear, and store it away for an emergency. Number 8. Be diligent. The islands of Atlas are dangerous, Whenever you explore new islands and locations, check immediate surroundings. If you see danger, either take it out with long-range weapons or go around it. Not all creatures need to be dealt with immediately. While most herbivores are peaceful, be careful not to hit them or you may find yourself being trampled by a bull or an elephant. Number 9. Manage your weight. I know we tend to let ourselves go during the holidays, but you should always make sure your weight in Atlas doesn't become a liability. As you collect more items, your weight icon will fill up. The heavier you are, 
the slower you move. Never over encumber yourself, especially when enemies and dangerous animals are nearby. No one wants to be the fat kid covered in honey while being chased by a fast predator. Number 10. Taming. If you're going solo, you shouldn't worry too much about tames for the first few hours of the game or so. But if you have to tame anything, you should always try and tame a monkey. Passive tames require food being put in the zero key on your hotbar, and you feed them with E when prompt to. Monkeys are skittish, so if you get too close, they'll run away. Once you do tame a monkey, it literally becomes a shoulder turret capable of flinging its excrements in order to slow down animals and players that attack you. Number 11, Skill Tree. Once you start to level up, be sure to put your points into what you think will give you an edge in survival or combat. Survivalism will be the first skill tree open to you, but from there you can spend points on not only upgrades to your skills, but to open up new skill trees to learn more items and be more proficient. Every time you level up, hit the I key and select a stat to increase. Then go to the skill tab and you will see a number of points that you can use to buy new skills. Be wise as you have a limited number of points before your next level up. Number 12, Nutrition. It's not enough to eat only one kind of food in this game. A balanced diet will ensure you get the most mileage out of your survival. On the right side, you may notice four colored bars and wonder what they are. Any consumable items will be noted by a colored arrow in the bottom left corner. Yellow is vitamin A, usually a grain or vegetable. Pink is vitamin B, meat or prime meat. Orange is vitamin C, which is typically fruits. And blue is vitamin D, which you get from fish or milk. Be sure not to overeat or you can suffer damage to your health. And last but not least, number 13, motion sickness. If you're getting sick from the rapid movements of your character, hit the escape key, go to options, and first select the shake slider on the right side. This is mainly responsible for the tremor effect that you might get if, say, an elephant is walking close by. For the camera bob when walking or swinging a melee weapon, go to the top and select advanced settings. On the left, look for the setting called Melee Camera Animation. Turning it off will stop the camera from swinging with your weapon. Further down, look for the option called Camera View Bob. This refers to your up and down motion when walking and running. If you find it distracting or causing nausea, go ahead and turn them both off and be sure to save. You can also do this from the main page menu under options as well. I hope these tips will help you understand the game a little bit better and make your time sailing through Atlas a little bit easier. I plan on doing a full review or first impressions video hopefully coming up soon. And if you have any other questions, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Video on mode, tuning out.